In the fourth mission of the U.S. campaign, we take a drive through France. Apparently, we've got to go to a place because there's been no contact. And whenever your invading forces, or at least your allied forces, fail to check in, that means stuff is going on. So let's see how this sequence goes. This is the first for the series. We still have our grenade. Very good. Don't forget to lean out the window. Okay. Well, why do I still have this rifle? And why is it actually working? You know, it's not every day you see somebody hop out a window with a bolt action. Completely hop when you look at this. I am outside the car now. <laughs> Door doesn't no feet. Well, um, for the most part, I can't think of other action games where this was a primary sequence. You just sit, sit a shotgun in the car. Your participation is optional. Shouldn't it be on the other side, though? That's really Americanized. This one? Yeah, I suppose so. Another oversight. Man, the stars darned on the front of the patch. The wheel's in the wrong place. Elder isn't buckled up. This is terrible. Oh, back then, that's perfectly fine. I don't know. Sure hope it works. <laughs> Just bust through. Hi, guys. Oh, shit. But the windshield does blow out when you shoot through it, so that's nice. How did no one get shot and die? Oh, shit. You're being chased. It's amazing how many times you just throw bullets in the air and nothing happens. Beep. What? Lost the wheel. Tire falls off because the driver got shot. Oh, then it explodes. <laughs> it explodes. I was going to ask about that. Are we going to have the explode? Yeah, we are. Yeah, we are. Full blown off with the hunger force right there. That was what we watching Paul the other day. A rewatch, I should say. Pretty good one. But it's surprising. The first time I thought it was okay, second time I thought it was quite good. Also notice we're at half health, and there's no health doing that. This could get tricky. Oh. That's not good. Nice looking buildings, though. Yes. Two towns all walled in. Don't come in. Immigrants not welcome. Can I hunker down? I cannot. Can't duck town like the Modern Warfare 2. Jesus, man. Oh, shit. We're gonna take on a tank. And a car. It's gonna work, I promise, guys. It's the best. I don't think anybody's in that tank. No, just taking a lunch break. Union mandated lunch breaks. Damn unions. Their 40 hour work week. How dare you. Well, another one of those anti aircraft positions, but this one's all torn up. Ooh. It's pre destroyed. Good for us. Oh, that's a problem. There's somebody in that one. Maybe it won't turn and see us. It turned and saw us. Don't be afraid. It's okay. It's really okay. Excepting that this is a dead end. <laughs> Elder? This is not a good time to goof it off. Elder? Duck, Elder, goddammit. Somehow that solved our problem. I guess he's not epileptic. <laughs> We're not getting blown to shit right now. Oh, I guess we are. Excuse me. Not actually all that safe. Bought ourselves a couple of seconds and that was it. Yeah, three guys trying to take a whole town. And because it's a video game. They will. They, they will. They, they'll manage to do it. We're oh. just here to deliver a message. Oh, while taking uh, Marv-type bullets to the chest from Sin City. Listen, Franz, I'm not a very good shot, but the Samaritan here fires really big bullets. Name that film. Uh, don't remember. Oh, boy. Oh, that's right. That's uh, when he's... Discussing his plan with Samael. That's right. How yeah, about the been, resurrection? I haven't seen. It's been a while since I've seen the movie, but I remember the part. I'm like, who the hell are the characters' names? God damn it! <laughs> uh, the red one and the blue one. There. That's all. You're holding that super awkward guy. I think you're gonna, you're gonna lose your hands, Mr. Moody. That <laughs> Grab or you really have gun. no feels left. In it. The wooden furniture is much better than the sizzling hot metal tip. But he's like, my hands are so badly burned, I no longer feel anything. I feel no pain. I don't feel feelings anymore, I just kill fucking Nazis. Well, I mean, if that's the case, that there's a Mr. Boskowitz who wants to talk to you. Or in a giant blue bear. <laughs> oh, do I lie? That's uh, kind of great. Can you tell me, Private Elder, why are you in the passenger seat of this, you know, Jeep? Sergeant Moody? Are we going? Is it time? Yay! Uh, we're in the car! Okay, I guess levitation works that way. Yes. Physics! No need for those. Anybody else gonna shoot? Just gonna be you? Just gonna be me. I didn't even have to shoot, just makes me feel like a man, you know? I'm shooting stuff. Tank shooting stuff. That tank ain't gonna catch up though. Well, it doesn't have to. Just this round has to catch up. True. That's all that's gonna happen, really. 
top speed of 10 miles an hour, though. By the time it gets to where you were, you'd be long gone. There's no <laughs> way of catching up to you. Well, hopefully. I mean, again, if the gun engineer, if the gunner is super good, he can probably guess where the road is and fire a shot. Look, we're safe! We turn the line, shell hits the car. Did well, you get a mission failed German killed instructor? <clears throat> yes. <laughs> like, what? How? God damn it! I mean, with the size of Moody's head, it's so hard not to hit him. Oh, Elder's freaking out. What do I do? But it's nice countryside again. This so he's kind of this is not like awful looking. John Goodman's character from uh, Monument Men, <laughs> just sitting there panicking in the back of a truck. You stepped on a landmine? Yeah. Why would you do that? It was a slow day. Okey doke, Sarge. What the hell else? <laughs> Don't lose hope, young squire. You'll be okay. And that is our exciting car chase. Woo! It went the French countryside before it was Michael Bayalized. Yes. Alright guys, see you next time. See you guys.